When Toby Keith shared this picture, friends and fans kind of flipped out. He looked thin and bundled up, and he had a hospital sticker on his hand. Well, we now know the truth, not only about Toby's cancer battle, but about this photo. And the lesson is, appearances can be very deceiving. I'm Addison Hager, and new photos and new video really clear up what's going on with Toby here. Plus, he spoke at length for the very first time about his diagnosis, prognosis, and the chances he'll return to the stage in 2023. There is reason for optimism and reason for concern. Trust me when I say any good vibes you can drop for Toby in the comments are appreciated, and please subscribe for more country music news, interviews, and analysis. This video will cover three topics and end with a country star explaining what went down here. I mean it when I say he was as angry as he looks, but you'll definitely understand. Heck, you might even applaud the guy. Jaw-dropping details about Yellowstone star Kevin Costner's divorce and the real reason Rascal Flats broke up will follow, but first... The Oklahoman deserves all the credit for talking to Toby Keith and getting him to open up about his health. He's been pretty private about it, which has led to rumors and speculation. Recently, we tried to sort through it with a video called Prayers for Toby Keith Are Working. Until that point, all we had officially read was one story from last fall that claimed he had beat cancer. Then there were two pretty high-profile appearances where he looked thin but strong. The first was at BMI Awards in November. The second was at the celebration for the University of Oklahoma softball team's national championship. The truth is, Toby Keith still has cancer. Quote, I'm about another eight weeks from my last scan, so I expect next time I look for that tumor to be even less. And I've only got one that's shown up. The Oklahoman adds that Keith's tumor has shrunk by one third, but he's still undergoing chemotherapy. There's a link to more in the description. The Oklahoman article is behind a paywall, so we've gone on and dropped Taste of Country summary article in the description. The good news is Toby says he wants to get the band back together for a couple shows, and if he can get through those, quote, and if I do, I'll be out on the road this fall. Thumbs up if you love that. All this came from his Toby Keith and Friends Golf Classic in early June. He shared pictures from that event on June 26th, and I want to zoom in on this photo. The blue jacket looks the same one he's wearing in the picture that caused so much concern. You'll see in another photo, he's wearing the same hat. So he was wearing golf wear, but he slipped on a Children's Miracle Network t-shirt for the pic because the post was a call for donations to the Children's Miracle Network. All of the concern brought what is called earned media for the cause. No, we're not saying Toby knew that would happen, but the hospital probably isn't mad about it. We dropped a link to that charity in the description as well. In 2022, Kevin Costner spent over $540,000 on his gardener? Y'all, I can't even imagine, but I'm sure I'm in the wrong business. All of these details were leaked because his divorce from Christine Baumgartner is getting kind of messy. Basically, his full financials were included in court docs that includes $830,000 for gifts, $84,000 for household help, and a measly twelve eight dollars for the personal trainer. Ugh, poor guy. Here's a screenshot with more detail. Credit to US Weekly for finding the details here. Baumgartner wants $248,000 for monthly child support, plus their three kids' school tuition and extracurricular fees. That's about six times more than what Costner said he'd pay, but he did already give her $10,000 to move and has committed $30,000 a month towards a rental, so she gets out of a house he says is his. They do have a prenup, and you can bet this case is going to be ongoing. In a moment, it's our exclusive interview with Chris Jansen, where he explains why he kind of went off on a fan during his concert in Minnesota. It's a side of the star you've never seen. But first, here's the real reason Rascal Flatts broke up. Jay DeMarcus had to sit through a deposition when Joe Don Rooney got divorced, and during that inquiry, he admitted that yeah, Joe Don quitting did trigger the final split of the band, but it's not like he was the first to quit. Gary LaVox had quit three or four times. In fact, they all quit before throughout the years. But Joe Don put the final nail in the coffin. People got this info first, and DeMarcus doesn't seem to hold any grudges. Quote, I knew that all of us were frustrated, so what LaVox said in the article, I don't think is a real reflection of how it really came down. 
Joe Don is now divorced, and since rehab, he's 19 months sober. If you recall, he was arrested in September of 2021 and later pled guilty to a DUI in Williamson County, Tennessee. And finally, did you see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough guy. Get out. You're out. You're out. Get the out of here. I don't ever lose my cool like that, but I was just sick and tired of it. I had enough. That's it. That's it. That's it. Chris Jansen recently visited with Taste of Country to talk life, his new The Outlaw Side of Me album, and what happened? Here he is with Evan Paul. You can find the full interview at Taste of Country Nights podcast. Links to that are in the description. I'm Addison Hager. Thanks for watching. And as always, thanks for subscribing. There's a difference when you're with your buddies and y'all are flipping each other off. There's, yes! a, there's a difference when you're when you're patting your buddy in the back and being stupid. That's funny. Okay, you're playing around. There's also a difference when you're trying to get somebody's vision like this, and you're doing this, and then you start flipping them off. And I can take it to a certain point. I'm an adult. I don't really care. I understand when you're a headliner, people at that point of the night, a lot of people are pretty sauced up and having a good time to whatever way they look to have a good time. Yeah. But when my kid comes out there to make a special presentation with me and sing a song, and like that's that's you know that's a real that's a very special part of the show. Me sure. and Jesse out there singing. And you don't have to share that with fans. That's something that you're kind of letting as well, much he as he wants to do it, and yeah. I'm proud to do it, and it's a very honorable thing. Yeah, and I try. You know, I, I try to live a pretty wholesome lifestyle. Yeah. You know, it's 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 pretty clean and classy. I like to say, but man, you asked me when the switch flipped. When I saw the middle finger go up again, when Jesse came out there, that was it. Now I tried. If you watch the video, I tried to get my team to like see it, but nobody could see it just because of the way the proportional lines were drawn up on the stage. It's no big deal. And um, that was it. That was it. And it's interesting when it happened because in my mind, I'm thinking, I don't want to be doing this. And these people don't want this. And mm, I don't want this. Right. I, I got a show to do here, man. Yeah. Um, and I usually never break Q or code, but I just had enough. And, you know, you're just not going to, you're not going to disrespect me or my family like that. I'm just not going to take it.